Okay, so we want to talk about uh, the, the Hamming Code 7.4. And the Hamming Code, first of all, relies on us sending four bits of data. So let's write down the bits of data that we're going to send. We're going to send a 0, 1, 1, and a 0. Okay, if we were to read this, what is the actual number that we're sending? Six. Right, so this is this would be 0 or 1, this is a 2, and this is a 4. So we are sending a number, what we would understand as number 6 in the decimal system. All right, so we're sending this particular number. The idea is how to send this number in such a way that it's protected against errors. Well, we'll do that by adding three additional bits to it. Now here's how, how this happens, and we'll use a little graphical representation here. First of all, we'll use a van uh, diagram here. All right, and we will enter the four data bits in the share pieces: zero, one, one, zero. And by the way, the actual Hamming code uh, uh, standard would define exactly which areas this goes into. Uh, and uh, the, the, the check codes um, ha ha have rules for all of that. Okay, so this is the data we're sending. This is the data. And we enter data inside of these shared areas. So now we'll, we'll use the parity um, principle that we discussed a moment ago. And we will include parity bits in the remaining spaces. Okay? So uh, let's mark them... Uh, uh, circle A, B, and C. So circle A is going to check these three elements. If we're using even parity, what do I enter here? Zero. All right, so at zero, because I already have two ones, meaning that uh, I already have uh, an even number of ones. What do I enter in the B section? <coughs> okay, so there's a zero here. And what do I enter in the C section? One. One. All right. It looks like a Mickey Mouse a little bit, you know. Um, but here's how it works and, and the beauty of it. When a bit is lost, when it's switched due to noise or some kind of a, a connectivity issue, let's say that this bit right here turns into zero. Okay. Now we, can have, we have a mechanism to say, circle A, are you in order? Are you working properly? Zero. 0, 1, 0, that's not right. The parity isn't set. So A is all set, and A has an error in it. Now we look at C. C is in order because we have even number of 1s. Then we look at B, and B is also set. B is saying, I have a 0 as my parity check, but in fact I have 0, 1, 0. I should see a 1 here, which allows us through deduction, find that this actually is the problem because only A and B were crying, like the little children that cry for we don't know what reason, but they're crying, C is okay. So that means that this is the bit that, that's changed. Okay? So it's a uh, nice way of sending data because the data that we would send along would be 0, 1, and 0. And so then this Hamming code helps us to protect the rest of the message as it, as it moves forward. Does that make good sense? All right, so that's, that's the Hamming code. Does it work if the parent...